Book three for March. Story one. First hospital visit. Baby Ethan is sick. He has a fever. His mom takes him to the children's hospital for the first time. There are many children there. All are waiting to see a doctor. Some children are two or three years old. Some are even younger. One baby is just a few weeks old. Her dad is carrying her in a basket. She is crying, but Ethan is not crying. He is playing with the toys in the waiting room. Can I check your ear? Story two: A better idea. One day, my sister and I found a coin on the street. I said, "Here, you take it," and my sister said, "No, you should have it." But then we saw an old man on the street. Let's help someone," said my sister. We gave the coin to the old man. My sister and I looked at each other and smiled. We felt very, very good. I have an idea. Story three. Grandma's chicks. My grandma loved little chicks. When the salesman came to our village with his little chicks, she carefully picked ten chicks to bring home. Somehow, she had a way of choosing the chicks that would grow up to be hens, not roosters. We loved to help her take care of the baby chicks too. Day by day, the little chicks grew bigger. After eight months, they laid their first eggs. Cluck cluck. Story four: World of Light. Long ago, people used candles to see at night, but now we have electric lights. It seems like our whole world is filled with lights. There are lights of all colors. There are big lights that light up soccer fields, and there are little flashlights too. We have so many lights that you can see them from space. Maybe we should turn out a few lights. What if we turned out some of the lights? Story five. Our moon. Let's go to the moon. What do we need to take? We need to take air to breathe. There is no air on the moon. We need to take water to drink. There is no water on the moon. We need special clothes too. Why? It is cold on the moon. When we get there, we will look back to Earth and say, "Wow, what a beautiful place we live in." That's our beautiful home. Story six, bookworm. Do you know what a bookworm is? Is it a worm that lives in a book? Yes, there are worms that like books. Can worms read books? Of course not. Bookworms just like to eat the paper. Bookworm has another meaning. When a person really loves reading books, we call that person a bookworm too. I love books. Story seven. Want to fly? 
Birds can fly. Bees can fly. Many kinds of insects can fly too. But people can't fly. Long ago, people tried many ways to fly. But people are not birds. People are not insects. What did they do? They made a big balloon. They put a basket on the balloon. They filled the balloon with hot air and up they went. Look! Look way up in the sky. What's that? It is people flying in a hot air balloon. What a beautiful view!